Have you ever been a student or a professional and you're typing up an essay or writing a paper or whatever you're doing online and searching Facebook and you suddenly realize that you might be spelling something incorrectly and you really want to make sure that the word is spelled correctly. Um, either you want to make your appearance seem good or you want to get a good score on an essay. Uh, this is one of the fastest ways to check. This is um, Franklin's Webster's Spelling Corrector Plus, which is, which is a spelling corrector that's works with a lot of words. It's got one a very uh, large capacity because it uses a Webster's Dictionary, and um, it basically checks if you're spelling something correctly. This is really the highest point in that because of the design and the, the price point. This is only around less than twenty dollars, and that's very impressive for what you're getting for the money. On a hardware perspective, it's one of the smallest uh, Webster uh, dictionaries or or spell checkers that we've ever tested. It's super tiny. It's really really lightweight. It's lighter than any uh, mobile device that we've we've seen. Um, if we just take some random devices up for for weight testing, it's. Maybe on the same lightness factor as, as a plastic ruler, it's certainly a lot lighter than any PDA or a lot lighter than any um, iPod or iPhone or even notepads. Um, regular notebook, uh, we have a stack of these um, sticky notes. It's lighter than sticky notes, so it's very light. And it's also very thin. It's surprisingly thin. In fact, when we first received this device in the mail, we actually thought it was a fake toy or something because we just couldn't believe an official device made by Webster could be so lightweight and so thin. Um, can't really stress how much it is. Like, if I put my finger on the keys, it covers up, my, my thumb covers up, like, all of these buttons, it covers up the entire display. So it's not like one of those wide devices, it's actually very, very tiny, very, very small. To also give you an impression, uh, this device also has a great battery life. It has, uh, it runs on a cell battery, which might have been a downfall for this type of device, but it actually lasts around forever. We've tested this for a while now, and the battery just seems to never die. And that's really impressive for something like this that you want to use for a long time. You don't want to replace the battery because that's going to cost you extra money, and it's already a very cheap device. So it works very well for that too. On the front, we have a very basic monochrome display for watching all our text and all our words. So there's also all the other features that you can use in addition to this device. Uh, if we type in a word, we just press the spell button, and then we can enter a word. Um, if we press Zenith, or uh, so as you can see, the the keyboard is fairly good, but it's it's not going to be to the uh, perspective of a phone or a texture because it's kind of really soft and rubbery, which is good. It has a tactile feedback. Even though it's really thin, it's still risen above the surface, so all the buttons are easy to press. Even if you have big fingers, um, it's really easy to text and dial by feel, um, which is good, but it might not be as responsive. You might to press a little harder. Okay, zenith, which means the highest point of, and it tells me that it's spelled correctly. Now, one of the biggest things you'll notice is that this is not a dictionary. So if you're expecting to get this because it runs on, you know, Webster's and a uh, whole entire dictionary database. It actually has all the words. It tells you how you spell them, but it doesn't tell you exactly what the definitions and parts of speech are. That said, it tells you, it's a great learning tool because it tells you similar words to it, uh, spell-wise. So you can, it's a great discovery device. Like, I can find out new words I never knew before just by scrolling down, uh, scrolling up and down here. I can, um, like, Zenner... And all these words I probably never knew before. Zen. Um, if I didn't know what that was, there you go. I just found a new word. I searched it using Google, and I just got a new word in my word word bank. And uh, it's a great learning device that you can discover new words similar to yours. And it's very cool for that. Um, it's also really lightweight and portable, so you can really take this anywhere you want. It's a lot lighter, again, than a phone or anything. It's also very inexpensive, so you won't feel bad if you just, you know... Take it around to you everywhere, and you're not going to be afraid it's going to break or anything like that. There's also additional devices, furthermore, to persuade you to purchase this device. There's also a phone book, and it's a security uh, and based encoded, so you need to type a password in order to access basic phone numbers and contacts. This is a basic calculator in here that uses the yellow keys on here, like 5, 5 plus 5, and uh, it tells you that's 10, so it works pretty fast, pretty well. There's also games in here, too, um, like user hang-in, anagrams, user anagrams, word jumble, word builder, and it's great because these build vocabulary, they build skills in the office, in the school, whatever. If we press word, uh, enter a word, like astonished, okay, S-E-D, enter, and it has 10 tries for you to spell all the words correctly, and once we're finished with that, um, 
you can see if you can guess the words and you can win or uh, you can start over on these games. So for something that's really, really thin, something that's really lightweight, really inexpensive, if you're just looking for something to see if you spell your words correctly, maybe you're not that great of a speller, um, but you know what the words actually mean. I know that I am somebody who, you know, because everything, it, it said that everything that you've heard in your life, you, you remember in part of your brain, but you might not know, like, everything in detail, like exactly how it's spelled, then this is a great device for writing, it's a great device for, for your literature class, it's a great device just in general, in life, and you can take it around, the Franklin Webster Spelling Corrector Plus, only 20 bucks, check out our full review at osmvtxreviews.com, thank you for watching.